Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenna. Um, we did our last color sheet, um, or I should say our first dot sheet that we did, had a few granulating colors on it that I thought you guys might wanna see. So I thought it would be fun just to go back and do a few. Now, granulating colors, essentially, the pigments in the color separates a little bit here. Like you can see, for example, I did this one, which is Rose of Ultramarine. Um, my battery kind of died when I was filming it. Uh, this was for the first bit that I did. But you see how it has these beautiful, like, lavender and then these violets and reds and it just it's just gorgeous so I thought why not do some more <laughs> so some of these now nickel titanium white or yellow is the only one that we're not going to do um there's not really a lot on this card for me to to get enough off of there I don't think anyway and I don't want to I don't want to have to scrub it so um, I'm not going to do this one. Also, I already know that I'm going to buy this one at some point. So um, I think <laughs> that's the plan. So let's get a, go ahead and I'm going to just put down here. Let me grab my paper towel here and a little bit of water. And I am just going to do kind of a wash. Well, not really a wash, but I'm gonna bloom it, if you will. So we're going to do the Buff Titanium, um, the Paraline Scarlet, let's see here to start with. So those will be my first two. So let's see if I can get enough Buff Titanium off of this card to do some fun. Now, I've never seen the granulation properties of these. Um, so let's see what they do basically I'm just I flooded this is just a wet on wet because I already have the paper all wet down here and I'm just gonna kind of see what comes of it on this card or on this paper now this is just it's not any kind of fancy paper I probably should have gotten out some better quality stuff to do the granulating on it um, I just kind of want to see what it does in play. So we're just going to play. Then we're going to put some pigment on paper. So I don't know. We're going to let it dry and kind of see if it does anything. Um, pull some water in. Let's see. All right. So the next one is, and you really get to see it as it dries. Paraline Scarlet is the next one on the list here. And... Caroline Scarlet is a Series 3 paint. Again, the series just is how much the paints cost. Um, actually, here, I'm going to put some pigment down first. And then we're going to add a little water to it. Um, I'm going to kind of drag it into. And let it bleed over. This is such a beautiful red. I don't know. Well, I know you can see it. It's a beautiful, beautiful red. I really, really like it. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get as stunning granulation on any of these as we did with this one. You can hear the dog goes crazy for everything. We have a UPS guy outside delivering some fun things today. Anyway, more on that on another video. Okay, the next one's going to be a Mayan red. So that's this one here. I if I can get it. That's this one here. Um, Mayan red is also a Series 3 paint. It has a light fatness, fastness of 2, which is very good. Um, and it says it's granulating, so let's see what Mayan red does. And then we'll go back and kind of look at them all as they dry up a little bit more some pigment off of here there's not a lot on these dot cards but there's enough to play around with it a little bit usually speaking um so let's see if i can get this to granulate a little bit there's a lot more of that paraline paraline 
Scarlet, which I just, I do love that color. All right, one of my favorites, although it is super fugitive, <laughs> which means it is not going to, it's not light fast like at all because it has that fluorescent pigment as a part of it, or fluorescence as part of the pigment is opera pink. Although they say opera pink is granulating and I did not know that until I went back to look. So, um, I love opera pink, <laughs> but it's not, you know, there's no color fastness there to be had. Um, I just really love the pink color. So we're just going to put down some pigment and see if we can get some more off of this page. I bet I can coax a little bit more off. Next up we have Potter's Pink. Potter's Pink is another Series 3. A lot of these are Series 3. I think it's probably because they're granulating. There's not a lot on this card. So I'm going to pick up what I can. So I'm having a hard time getting any pigment. It does have some separation though. Okay, so now we're gonna do Mayan Violet. but not least we have ultramarine red okay so let's go back and look at some of the ones that are dried already I'm going to set this dot card aside because we are going to do a different one as well. So we have Rose of Ultramarine, Buff Titanium, which I don't feel like Buff Titanium did much. I mean, it's obviously granulating, but you know, it's not as, I honestly, Rose of Ultramarine, I think is a very special pigment. It's like, it's just got it's so beautiful. Um, I don't think you're going to see that on many of these, but you can see the granulation. You can see the separation of pigment, perlian scarlet, which this is going to dry some more and I'll go back through them again. Potter's pink, which you can definitely see the separation of pigment and binder there. Um, same with the opera pink, but nothing is going to be Mayan red, Mayan violet, Cobalt Violet. And then you've got Cobalt Violet deep down here. And Ultramarine Red. 